today, we're going to learn to program using a drag and drop language called Blockly. Blockly uses colorful instructions called blocks to build programs that you can use to solve puzzles. Under the hood, you're still creating code. Each puzzle you'll solve with the code is split into four main parts. On the left is the play area, where your program will run. In the center, you will see the toolbox area that holds all the blocks that you will need for each puzzle. To the right is your workspace, where you will drag blocks to build your program. Finally, above the workspace, you will see the specific instructions for each puzzle. Don't worry if you accidentally drag out a block that you don't need. If you have an extra block, simply drag it back into the toolbox to put it away. After you hit run, you can always hit the reset button to get your character back to the start so you can try again. Ray needs BB-8's help. In these puzzles, you will program BB-8 using the arrow blocks from the toolbox. BB-8 needs to pick up each piece of scrap metal to finish the puzzle. First, work to find a path for BB-8 that covers all the pieces of scrap metal. Then write the program in your workspace to move BB-8 on that path. You don't need a special command to pick up scrap metal. BB-8 will collect it just by moving over the top. Now let's get rolling. You're about to get the chance to play with a new type of puzzle called the Collector. These puzzles are a lot like ones you've already seen, except for a few important changes. In each puzzle, the Collector will look for items to grab. When she gets to them, she won't be able to simply run over the items to pick them up. Instead, you will need to use the Collect block to grab each pile. Be careful! The number of items that need to be collected to pass a level will change. Sometimes you only need to collect one pile. In other puzzles, you need to collect everything. Make sure you pay attention to the instructions to find out what the rules are before you start. Computer scientists, no matter how experienced they are, run into errors that they need to fix. This is where debugging comes in. Debugging is just a word that means finding and fixing errors in a program, and the first step towards fixing errors is to find them. Most puzzles have a step button below the play space that you can use to hunt for problems. If your program doesn't work, press the step button and see what happens. Does the character take action in the right way? If everything looks good with the first block of code, press the STEP button again. How does everything look? Is it still running right? Keep going through your code line by line until you find the first place where things go wrong. What happened? What was supposed to happen? What does that tell you? In this puzzle, I get to the last line of code and don't reach the goal. What happened? I got to the end of my code without solving the puzzle. What was supposed to happen? I need to go forward one more step. What does that tell me? It tells me I need to drag out one more of these blocks and attach it to the end before I click run. Ta-da! That's how you debug a program. This is the Harvester. She runs a big farm and needs your help to pick the crops that are ready to be harvested. Use the Move and Turn blocks to get the Harvester from crop to crop. Then, 
use pick blocks to collect all of the crops that are ready to be harvested. The sun is shining and it's time to harvest. Let us get started. These are your draw blocks. Use the correct one to move the artist where he needs to go to fill in the gray lines. These are jump blocks. When you use these, your artist moves but doesn't draw, so use these to jump to the next gray line. This is a repeat block. It'll let you loop the code inside as many times as you tell it to. To a computer, code that you write like this looks just like code that you write like this. Now you know how to use a repeat block here and in other puzzles too. This is a repeat block. It'll let you loop the code inside as many times as you tell it to. To a computer, code that you write like this looks just like code that you write like this. Now you know how to use a repeat block here and in other puzzles too. This is a repeat block. It'll let you loop the code inside as many times as you tell it to. To a computer, code that you write like this looks just like code that you write like this. Now you know how to use a repeat block here and in other puzzles too. <laughs> 